Hi there, it's Jen from ModernMedicineLady.com and the Empathic Woman System, and the word of the day is feel, as in, how do you want to feel? And I choose this word because right now is a really auspicious time for manifestation. We are right on the verge of the new moon in Taurus, and then right on the heels of that comes Beltane, which is also known as May Day. And this is the time for planting seeds. This is the time for visioning the future. This is the time for making wishes about what you want to harvest in the coming seasons, and really having a sense of possibility and hope. And the thing is that dream boards and visions and naming specific details of things that you'd like to create in your life, that's awesome. But sometimes that can actually stop us from being open to the possibilities that are available and actually receiving things that would be even better for us than what we think we want. And when we focus on the details of something that is not yet existing in our life, it can actually hinder our ability to manifest it when we are not experiencing it yet. So one of the things that I've found over the years is that when I think about the quality of how I want to feel around my goal, it can actually really help me to get there faster. It's kind of like taking the express elevator to my goals and my desires. Because what I'm doing is I'm cultivating the feeling within me about what I desire, and I'm allowing myself to really be in that field of energy and and how it feels to be living that way. And then the universe has a way of kind of filling in the details and catching up with all of that stuff. So for example, if I was thinking about manifesting a lot of abundance and wealth and money, if I thought about what is it that I really want to feel from that, not like, because ultimately money is a tool, wealth is a tool, abundance is a tool, and it's ultimately about how it helps me to feel in my life that I really want. So if for example, having a lot of money was about feeling grateful and feeling free and feeling relaxed and feeling safe and comfortable and feeling a deep sense of the possible, then what I can do is I can work on cultivating all of those qualities within me and really, really get that feeling anchored within myself. and. Maybe the abundance manifests in the ways that I'm imagining. Maybe it manifests in a completely different way. But the thing is, I'm experiencing the quality that I'm wanting. So I'm kind of cutting out the middleman, and I'm going straight for what it's really about, which is how do I want to feel? So in my experience with many of these things, the detail is actually what I imagine will create the feeling, but if I focus on the feeling, the detail may or may not be that, but I will still have that feeling. And as I was saying, what we do is when we start with the feeling within, the universe kind of catches up and puts all the details into place that will reinforce it. So you've heard the term, as above, so below. If we start within, then we can manifest without. So it's not only is it as above, so below, but it is as within, so without. So my question to you right now is, if you're thinking about a goal, if you're thinking about desire, a desire, you're thinking about a dream, how it, what is the feeling that it's really about? How do you want to feel? And how can you cultivate that feeling right now, even before some of the details have caught up and have clicked into place? How can you support yourself in feeling those feelings and just really dwelling in the abundance and the, and the lusciousness of what you desire? So I'd love to hear what you have to say. Please leave a comment below. And until next word of the day, I am wishing you peace and ease and the ability to feel what you really want to feel. 
In the meantime, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jennifer Moore, Modern Medicine Lady, and I will be ever so grateful for your help to get this video out into the world. So please like it and share it and pass it along to the other people who would find it useful. Thank you so much for your help, and until tomorrow, I am just sending you love, love, love. Peace.